everyone, welcome to One Way TV this week. Hopefully you've had a great week. We've got another great lineup coming up for you, so stay tuned, check it out, make sure you tell your friends, onewaytv.org, 7pm Friday or 9am Sunday. Send it to those who um, are looking for answers in life, who are trying to make sense of all the mess that we're in, someone who might need some encouragement, or someone who normally goes to church but can't make it. So all these people could probably do with a bit of encouragement and hopefully we can bring that. So send it on to your friends, tell them about One Way TV and of course send them to our website onewaytv.org 7pm Friday or 9am Sunday or watch by YouTube on any time, catch up on the old episodes. See ya! Surrender. 
surrender now I give you everything Your goodness is running out It's running out for me All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing all the good things of God All my life you have been faithful So, so good With every breath that I am able I'm going to sing All the goodness of God Yes, I'm going to sing All the goodness of God I'm going to sing All the goodness of God Hi there, it's Andrew with you again, and I'm going to be sharing a few thoughts and a couple of scriptures with you today. And the first one is out of Isaiah 41 verse 10. It reads, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you with my righteous right hand. And Philippians um, 4.13 reads, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. So here's two encouraging um, verses out of the word of God. And uh, the key thing is that God will be there with us and help us and strengthen us and encourage us. So there's a real promise there that, you know, he's never going to leave nor forsake us. He is there. And today I just want to encourage you uh, with a word, and that is that you can make a difference. Uh, don't ever think that, you know, why would God use me because I'm too old, too young, or in between, wherever it may be. Um, but God can use you. So uh, if he can use me, he can use you. So today I want to just encourage you just uh, a little bit about my story. And, and that is that um, um, I had an attitude a bit like the Nike advert, you know, just do it. And I adopted that saying, you know, just do it. Just get out there and have a go. And if you fail, well, never mind, you had a go. Uh, my my philosophy is this the, the failures in life who fail um, are actually winners because they went out and had a go whether they were successful or not it doesn't matter how to go the true failures are the ones come up with an idea said I can't do this it's all too hard throw their hands up in the air and said you know why bother they are the failures but the ones that get out there and have a go they're not failures at all I myself um, you know um, have had a few jobs in my life I'm sure that a lot of you've uh, probably had the same or similar or maybe not as many but um, you know I started out as uh, an apprentice uh, fit and turner and did my trade and became a tradie as they say and then I went on and did more schooling in the technical side of engineering and then I worked as an engineer at ANSET on aircraft and and so my journey went on uh, but prior to become a, a tradie I worked part-time after school and worked in like tucker bag, packing bags and, um, you know, helping do a bit of plastering over there, concreting. Then I did get an apprenticeship as a builder and the building industry at that time in my life was not great. It just fell into heaps. So I lost my apprenticeship. Bit of a story. And uh, that can knock you around a bit when you were a bit younger. But I just pressed on and just kept going. And then I end up, um, you know, working in the air. I was a technical sales engineer. Uh, then I was a general manager, and um, then I had uh, my own company, which I uh, it was quite large and and grew uh, over a six six year period, and moved on from there. And then I was a general manager of a winery, and uh, and during the whole time, I actually was pastoring as well. Um, I started probably about six churches in my life, um, and the last one I had was in Sunbury, and uh, moved on from that, and uh, did other things. And uh, now I find myself in a completely 
different area but similar to everything that I've done in the past because God never wastes anything that you do in your life he uses everything and now that uh, I'm actually an international life coach I had uh, a colleague friend a brother in Christ come and see me and said Andrew we think that you'd be good at this in the area of um, assisting people to grow in their ambitions their calling and uh, their desires and he said to me, what about becoming a life coach? And I didn't even know what a life coach was. And uh, I explored it and uh, I thought, yeah, this is really good, you know, helping people to to uh, advance their career or if they don't know what their career is, that, that I could assist them in finding that and, uh, you know, hopefully pushing them towards it that they can actually become what they're called to become. And uh, I've got a little, uh, little bit of paper here and I just want to read to you what a, a life coach is. So you have a bit of an understanding because at the time I had no idea. It's not counselling, it's not it's not coaching or it's not even mentoring. Counselling, coaching and mentoring are all beneficial means in helping us reach our God-given potential. Counselling tends to focus on helping people in crisis and those who need emotional healing. Uh, mentoring and coaching have many similarities. Both are one-on-one -on -one relationships that focus on change and forward mo uh, movement and individuals who are motivated and ready to, to grow and change. A mentor is an authority in his or her field and imparts skills, information and perspective. In coaching, the person being coached is the expert who has the answers within him or herself. Working with a coach allows a person to discover the answers. Um, basically, what we do as life coaches you know we, we listen to you and we we're trained in such a way that we can pick up things in intuition discernment and if you've got a bit of prophetic gift we can actually you know seek God for counsel of what you're actually desiring to be and so what we do we listen to you and uh, we pick out certain things you say and we jump on those things and um, we try to uh, pry them out of you and we just we discover what God's called you to do and then we we work out goals together and we encourage you to move forward uh, with that uh, thing that we discovered together. And once we discover it, together we work it through to find that place where you're meant to be. And those two scriptures I shared uh, at the start that uh, you know, don't fear, don't be dismayed, don't be discouraged. You know, God is with you. He is your right hand. And he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's there pushing you on. And and, and God uses life coaches like myself uh, to help you, uh, to move you on, to encourage you, uh, to get that thing that you're not too sure about. And then once you find it, it's just like finding gold. And, um, you know, I'll help you get through the, that thing that you desired to do that you didn't know what you were going to do until it was explored for our discussion. So, at the start, I shared a bit about you know the things I've done, and and I said a lot of you probably have done the same thing or something similar. And all those experiences, God uses. He never wastes anything. You know, um, he he uses all the experiences you've had in the employment, with your family, with health, uh, uh, things within your church. He uses everything from the smallest to the largest thing. And once he's got that uh, in his hands, uh, he uses you to pull those things out like a uh, like a vault of incredible experiences to assist others. And so my exhortation to you is that, you know, um, you can make a difference. There's so many things in your life that can help others that don't know where they're going or how to get to their destination. But... If you get alongside somebody and pull out that vault, as I said, of experiences and share those things with that individual person and to encourage them to move forward, they will find their place in their lot of their life and then they will make a difference. You'll make a difference by assisting them to uh, fulfill their call. And, and so the two work hand in hand. In my situation, uh, I have a company now called Plato Rhino, and um, 
and so what we do you know we get alongside people just as I explained and the way that we've been trained to uh, further a person's call desire hunger whatever you want to call it um, to fulfill and to make that difference in their lives their family and friend in the in the environment they live in or in their church so today I want to say to all of you um, every experience happens in your life from the day you were born to where you are now God can use it to make a difference uh, in this world in your life your family friends and church as I said many times during uh, this little talk so be encouraged and if you'd like to uh, to talk to me personally as a life coach and uh, you're not too sure how to move forward or help how to help others uh, I can help you uh, so you can assist others so um, yeah just give me a call ask Julie uh, on this um, one way gathering TV and she'll put you in touch with me if you need some assistance God bless you and uh, remember you can make a difference and uh, I believe in you and uh, you just got to believe in yourself and know that Christ is with you. God bless and have a great day. Welcome to our prayer corner this week. Jesus, we come and proclaim how great you are. We talk about the great things you have done and the great things that you're going to do in the lives of those who love you. We think of the amazing healings you have brought, the miracles you have done in each of us and the great things that are still to come. We thank you that we can pause to reflect on how great you are. Help us to remember you in our conversations and talk about the things that make our lives and nation great. Thank you that you love each one of us, that you accept each one of us and desire for us to draw closer to you. Thank you that you want the best for each one of us and desire to see us fulfill everything that you have for us. Thank you, Jesus, that you have plans and a purpose for each one of us, that you crafted each one of us carefully in our mother's womb and gave us gifts and talents so that we can serve you and see your name glorified. Thank you that you care for each one of us, no matter where we are on our journey with you. Thank you, Lord, for the great exchange that took place at the cross that gives us forgiveness, righteousness, justification, freedom, health, blessings, acceptance, and so much more. Give us grace and mercy. Pour out your spirit, dear Lord, and bring healing, love, and restoration to those listening who need it. In Jesus' name, amen. Alrighty, everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for our scripture coming up, our memory verse, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. From the New King James.